What's up, a cinema show gun here, and I want to tell you about one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. But first, wait. You got the camera ready? Is the camera ready? Okay. All right, now, as I was saying, Johnny Depp is just the worst guy I've ever met in my life. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, man, oh, man, today was another long day in the Johnny Depp trial. And you know what? I try to be as fair as possible on my channel. So I will say that I believe today was a better day for AH than yesterday. And that's not saying much because in my personal opinion, I thought yesterday was a complete disaster for her. But maybe it's just because I've gotten used to her overacting. But I felt like it was kind of dialed back today. Meaning I feel like if the average person turned on the TV today, she seemed a tad bit more believable today than she did yesterday. Now, of course, we all know she's full of... Can't say that word. But, I mean, I just think that she came off just a tad bit more believable today. But when she did start or overacting, it was more extreme than yesterday. She definitely dialed up the fake tears, the fake crying, the fake sniffles. And one thing that I really noticed today, because I was looking for it today. Yesterday, I noticed it as well, but today I was specifically looking for it. It's the fact that she is just looking like directly, and I mean directly, at the jury throughout this whole testimony. The lawyer will literally ask her a question. Like, hey, what happened on this day and date, A.H.? And she'll be like, oh, yes, I remember that day and date. Let me tell you about what happened. Johnny was doing so much drugs and drunk so much wine. You, yes, you, yeah, yeah, he yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. She's going out of her way to like directly address the jury. Like she is looking dead in their eyes, dead in their faces, dead in their souls, trying to make all of them sympathize with her. And you know what? I think some people will mistake that for confidence. Some people may mistake that for confidence because, okay, let's just be honest here. Who will you take more seriously? Someone that engages with you and looks you directly in the eye or someone that's kind of shuffling their feet and looking at the ground? Usually, in most circumstances, you will take the person that is, you know, making eye contact with you more seriously. But this situation is a unique situation because I believe for someone to get up there and tell the truth and to air their dirty laundry and to talk about these some of the most horrible times in their life, it's going to be more hard for you to directly look at the jury or look at who you're talking to. So in this situation, I don't believe it's like, oh, she's confident because she has the truth on her side. No, she's seeming like she has more confidence on the stand only because she's telling a lie. So it's not something that, you know, she just natural naturally reacts to, you know. Because when you're someone who goes through a traumatic experience, when you're someone who's gone through the things that A.H. claims that she's gone through, it's not something you're, you're proud of. It's not something that's easy to talk about. And often people who, you know, eventually have to talk about these things, they're not, they're not going to just sit there and make eye contact with you and look you directly in your face while talking about it because it's kind of shameful to them sometimes. And, and not just people who necessarily go through DV, but people who are, who have had addiction problems like Johnny did. When we watched Johnny Depp on the stand, we never saw him trying to you know, look directly at the jury and act for the jury and make facial expressions for the jury and cry for the jury. No, he was locked in on the lawyers who were asking him questions. If AH's lawyers asked him questions, he would look over there. If they objected, he maybe looked over there. But never for one second did he look at the jury, let alone AH is literally, her seat is like this, like mine right now, okay? I'm looking at you all, talking to you all in this video. AH 
if you haven't watched the trial, A.H., while she's on the stand, she's sitting like this, looking directly at the jury. So literally her lawyer's like over here asking her questions and she's like, oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 I, I know exactly, <laughs> you know? And she's just rambling on directly to the jury. Now, some people may think that's more effective, but I think that just screams of like being inauthentic. Because if you're really someone who has gone through these traumatic experiences, it's gonna be harder for you to talk about it. That's why it seemed harder for Johnny to talk about it than it is for M or for AH. Can't say her name on YouTube. So yeah, I think some people may mistake that for confidence, but in this situation, it's a unique situation because people who are more confident when telling their story about things like this, they're often lying because they have nothing to, like, okay, even if your lies may have real world ramifications, your lies don't affect your mind, body, and soul in the way that the truth does. So you could get on the stand and lie easier than you can tell the truth. And you could have more confidence in your lies than the truth because at the end of the day, regardless of what judgment you get and however people judge you for what you're saying, you know inside your heart, mind, body, and soul that what you're saying is a lie. So therefore, you show no shame. You know, there's no, there's, there's no like natural human reaction to it like we see with Johnny. So I feel like that's bogus, garbage, BS, and I hope that the jury knows that. I hope that the jury can see that and spot that, that, oh, you know, this is acting. What Johnny did, that's someone who really went through something. You know, Johnny was often looking like, almost like looking down. At no moment did he ever make contact with A.H., of course, or the jury. Whereas A.H., you know, when she's not looking at the jury, she'll look at Johnny Depp. Like she's just really trying to talk, like she'll mention about how much she loved Johnny Depp and she'll look at Johnny Depp for a reaction and Johnny will not look up at her at all. So that shows you again right there. She has more confidence to look at Johnny because at the end of the day, she's not really a victim of these things. Whereas Johnny does not even want to look at her because it's harder for Johnny to look at her because Johnny is on the side of the truth and the truth hurts. The truth hurts everyone, especially the people who are holding it within, you know? But while I'm sitting here paying like super attention to where her eyes are moving and what she's doing and where she's facing while she's talking, I noticed something. Kind of like the intro to this video. I noticed that at one moment, she literally like notices like, oh, they're about to, the, the photographer or whoever is getting ready to snap a photo and she takes the tissue and she looks with her eyes and pauses and pauses and waits for him to take a picture while she's like wiping a tear from her face, a fake tear from her face. And then after the picture, she's like, okay, I'm done. And it was like, whoa, what the? It was a surreal moment for me because that says it all right there. That says it all right there. And it's not the only, you know what? Let's just watch this clip real quick. And then I'll be back with more thoughts because you all have to see this. You all have to see this, man. And after you both return to LA. 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 And after you both return. So yeah, literally she's sitting there like this, takes the tissue out. She goes to wipe her face. She notices paparazzi or I guess a photographer, some type of journalist is about to take a picture. And she's like, you got the picture? All right, so anyway, and I'm just like, if we see this at home, I hope the jury sees stuff like this. They're sitting right there. You know, imagine just being right there in the same room. So hopefully they're noticing things like that because there was other moments today that I noticed as well. Like she literally is like trying to sob 
And then she'll kind of look at the jury like, hey, are you looking? Is this working? You know, like she will try to validate herself in those moments, whereas natural emotion is natural emotion. When you lose control and you start crying and it becomes hard to speak, it's not something that goes away that quickly. Where she was like just, her mood swings were going back and forth. And often when she would do these sobs and sniffles, she would eye, her eyes would shift. Maybe her whole face and body and head might not shift, but her eyes were shift, would shift to seek validation. Like, okay, do they look like they're, you know, are they rolling their eyes at me right now? Or do they look like they're interested in what I'm saying? Like she was looking for their reactions and probably depending on their reactions would, you know, dictate whether she would dial it down or keep going. You know, we don't know what the jury looks like or how they're reacting to the situation, but hopefully they're all sitting there like, what in the F is this? Like all of us. But yeah, you know, right when I tried to give Amber a couple of points, when I, when I was just trying to be fair, like, okay, today was maybe a tad bit better than yesterday. It's moments like this where you just see how inauthentic she is. And it's just like, there's no hope for this woman. There is no hope for this woman. This woman is the worst of the worst. And that little clip of her sitting there and posing for the picture, it says it all. It's just like that right there, if nothing else in this trial, it's a, it just it encapsulate, encapsulates everything about this trial and the type of person she is. Faking emotional reactions, waiting and posing to wipe away fake tears for a camera. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you on the next video.